The Minister of Health, Dr. Osage Hanire, on Tuesday admonished Nigerians to prepare for the worst, even as the federal government assiduously worked to curtail the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. He urged health workers and citizens alike to do their best to learn more about the virus. Speaking during the daily briefing of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, he said, the president authorized extending easing of restrictions in Lagos, Ogun, and the FCT by another two weeks. The lockdown in Kano was also extended by two weeks to address remaining challenges to containing the increasing number of confirmed cases. It is of great importance that we members of the health sector and citizens endeavor to use this period to dedicate efforts to strive for the best, but also prepare for the worst, the statement read in part. Now, joining us is a health care expert, Dr. Lawson Babajinde. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank, thank you for having me. When the health um, uh, minister of health makes statements as this, I mean, we should prepare for the worst. The WHO says the cases are going to increase. We're not, we're not seeing an end. What comes to your mind? What do we do with this kind of information? Okay, um, the, the information is directed at two sets of people. And it's very important that um, this information comes out at this point in time. Now, it's not a coincidence that he's given this piece of information just as the lockdown is being relaxed and easing off. Now, the tendency is that there's a possibility that people go back to their regular way of life, um, going around and may not adhere to the basic tenets of prevention which is wash your hands regularly, use a face mask, with, face mask when you're out in public, and uh, observe social distancing. Now, of course, once the lockdown has been relaxed, there can be that um, relaxation of your guard also, and assume that, yeah, things are going to be, I mean, things are already okay, and then um, cases can now skyrocket. Uh, for the medical personnel, it's important also because they will now, I mean, they shouldn't also relax the processes that have been put in place to ensure that patients are screened before they come into the hospital and all the necessary preventive measures that will be put in place to ensure that you don't um, record new uh, cases in terms of um, numbers of doctors that could be infected if they decide to relax or let down their guard. And I think it's a timely admonishment. Uh, the minister also advised Nigerians to read up and learn more about the virus. The question this morning is, is enough being done in terms of awareness creation and sensitization, especially in the hinterlands? Um, f f first of all, it's totally, absolutely impossible for you to do, uh, to have a hundred percent in terms of uh, information dissemination about any uh, disease entity, uh, especially this um, SARS, um, this, so that this COVID-19 uh, problem that is new. Um, knowledge is, is evolving and emerging as the days go by. So you, first of all, perish the thought to think that you can do, uh, what you can do will ever be enough. No. You have to continue to educate, 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 and continue to update whatever information is out there. So it can only get better. Okay, for, for those who are struggling with the disease, the uh, minister says help is available. Uh, do not go on the ground. But we know that they also said the same um, uh, PTF said that most of the people who are dying from the virus are well and seeking home care are those who are well educated how well do you think this information resonates with nigerians okay um so uh, let me probably interpret what is being said and put it better in layman's terms so first of all the, um, if, if, if for any reason you suspect or feel that, okay, you may have been exposed or you have 
uh, COVID-19. Um, the usual process in, in, involved the SEDC as in make your calls. You will get healthcare personnel who will take a look at you, assess tests, confirm the diagnosis, and then advise on what step to do uh, and what steps to take. Now, you, if you also bear in mind that the disease comes in um, different uh, degrees. You have the mild, uh, the moderate, and somewhat severe ones. The mild, most cases tend to be on the mild side, whereby um, a lot of patients don't really get very ill and tend to recover. The moderately ill, I mean, the moderate um, form of disease may have some individuals who may be ill but don't necessarily need some form of ventilatory support and the, the severe ones are the ones that probably will need some assistance in terms of uh, things like ventilators or support with um, respiration. So a lot of people fall into the first two categories and they tend to do well. Now, the only way you can help yourself if, if as a COVID-19 patient would be to come forward, get tested, and then be advised on what steps to take. So that that is the way to, to look at that information. And of course, it's important to continue to emphasize the importance of hand washing, social distancing, and use of face masks, because those are the things that will reduce one infectivity between that means you can't it reduces the chances of um, a person infecting another and then even when a person may have come in contact the hand washing also reduces the chances of you now getting it into the particular parts of the body that can allow it to become a, a systemic problem so avoid touching your eyes your uh, your nose and your mouth so those that way even if it does get on your hands by washing you kill off the virus. All right, doctor, thank you very much for your time with us on the news as well as your thoughts. Thank you for having me.